Hey, uh, just for our listeners that don't really know what the power play is, uh, give us a uh, and and who you are. Give us a little uh, background on who you are, what Own America is, what it does, and a little bit about um, what uh, what you benefit from and how we enjoy the power play so much and how you enjoy it. Sure. So much. Yeah, um, I love it because I love I love bringing the the tricks and techniques and strategies of the biggest investors in the world to everybody. So Own America is my business. Um, we started 10 years ago. It is an investment platform online at ownamerica.com where people who uh, invest, hold, value, analyze, buy and sell, finance, insure uh, a very specific kind of investment, which is the rental home. Our belief system is that we, we call the company Own America because this is the core instrument, the root, the coin of the realm through which you invest in America. You're betting on population growth of families, you know, shelter of families. Um, and so that asset class, our clients are people that own thousands and thousands and thousands of them. We've helped them to identify the markets where they should buy. We've helped them to uh, acquire the properties, stabilize the properties, manage them, everything else. Um, and there have been some really sort of innovative techniques and uses of data and technology that have never been available before that are available now that were built by us and by other people for this big massive investment trend that's taken place in the last eight, nine years in the business. Um, we've taken everything we know and spun it out to everybody else, <laughs> right? Because my passion really is the, I love the fact that there might be someone listening here who is a real estate junkie at heart and they may have never heard that term, but it makes sense to them. They, they look at the idea of accumulating American real estate as the way to bulletproof their family long term as the way to set themselves up later in life and their kids and grandkids way later in life. Um, they know it deep down inside, but it's hard and it's intimidating and it's getting easier. Uh, and so your audience should just know that I actually know a lot about this stuff. I get paid by people who need me to make these kinds of recommendations. And now everything that I've ever learned about this after 20 years of doing it, uh, I want to share. And so Power Play is about making moves in the real estate investment space using the best techniques, strategies, technology, data, et cetera. Awesome. And I love that too, right? Like I feel you and I have the ability to do some really deep dives into strategies and, and ideas on what real estate investors and even those individuals considering investing in real estate really need so they can benefit. And this is what Greg and I curate for you every single Tuesday moving forward is just that. It's an experience that you can use, absorb, and go implement to better your portfolios and, you know, like the name of Greg's company suggests, own America. Yeah, you know what, Arsene, you'll love this. I don't think you've heard this before. Our slogan that we're toying with, I don't know if we're going to be able to use it, but I've been saying it out loud, is he or she who dies with the most America wins. And that concept of accumulate like if you think about your kids and grandkids and you take your entire adult life, how old are you, 25, 35, 45, whatever you are, yeah. looking at the longest term view you can possibly have, comfort in old age and legacy for your family beyond. If you can take decades to do this, you have to be an idiot not to have it work. I mean, you have to make so many mistakes. If, you, if you're able to buy good property in good places and manage it well or have people that you trust manage it well, you don't lose in this game, but you just have to come into it with a long-term patient view. That's right. Let's get to one of the things that I know you enjoy and I also enjoy. Uh, a, little, a little thing that you and I like to call smart people saying dumb things about real estate. It's That's interesting right. to me. Uh, you've been on TV uh, pretty frequently recently, and folks always have a very interesting way or, or big media has a very interesting way of turning good things that are happening in a market uh, and they look for some type of black swan bad event uh, to tie to a weakening housing market. It's just kind of been the thing they do. It's kind of funny to me. It's and every, it, time. It's, every, every time. Every time. It's like, yeah, They're it's... trying to derail it for some reason. Uh, what's been the latest that you've seen uh, that uh, that media is trying to construe as being a negative for the housing market? Yeah, it, it's every week it's something new, so I'm glad we have this show to highlight and, and, uh, and poke some fun at some smart people who I'm sure are also very nice people, but they're saying some dumb things. Uh, earlier this year, people who are paying attention to housing might recall that the big concern was home prices were going too high and affordability is too low, which means 
you know, people can't afford to buy houses. That's going to cause the market to grind to a halt. And affordability is bad. And we have to do something about it. It's just bad, bad, bad. So what they were saying was home prices are going up. Like imagine somebody saying the stock market is up today and that's bad because affordability for stocks has gone down. You can't imagine it because nobody's ever said anything so stupid. But in housing, they get away with it every day. Right. And that was the big drumbeat for the first part of the year. Mm -hmm. What we were saying was let it take care of itself. If prices are truly going too high and the buyers truly can't afford, guess what? They're going to walk away from the table. And the sellers are going to have two choices. Keep the house. This is a macro view nationwide that plays out with one buyer and one seller every single day somewhere, right? If the buyers walk away because the affordability is no good, they can't afford the house, the seller's got a choice. Either hang on to the property and wait or lower their price. So that's what inevitably happens when prices go too fast or grow too fast for too long. That's where we were this year. So now we're into the third or, you know, on the way to the fourth quarter now and, um, the prices are leveling off. Home sales are slowly slowing down. Buyers are being stubborn. They are walking away. Sellers are being forced to acquiesce. And now guess what? Now the big fear is um, that home sale prices, home prices are declining. And people are starting to run around and talk about how the market is now going to plummet. The market's going to plummet. <laughs> um, and I actually had, you know, I, well, I'll usually, for the fun of it, spend 15 seconds looking on, on online for a, a, a clip from television of somebody echoing this, and I've got one. So if we can play this, this was on one of the uh, the business channels just a couple of days ago. Yep, uh, and we have our producer, uh, Isaac, who's going to put that together right now. Here we go. What is it about the housing market that you think complicates the picture a bit? Our leading indicator, our leading home price index, has made a downturn that it hasn't made in a long time. Uh, the last time it was this week, we're showing a chart of it here, uh, was in 2009, coming out of the last recession. Directionally, we have a home price growth downturn. That is going to happen. So that's a clear red flashing light on our dashboard of cycle indicators. Absolutely, it's a red flashing light. This cycle is turning down. Greg, right. what's what's funny to me about this is the use of the word directionally. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, come yeah. Well, on. The, the red flashing light thing is a fun visual because it, it, elsewhere in the clip, you can't go all day on these things, and so elsewhere in the clip, he talks about how the economy is showing a yellow light. Things are cooling off a bit, which is not happening, uh, but the housing market is a red flashing light danger, right? Danger. Uh, when we come back on the other side of this thing, I'll kind of pick that apart and show you why it's contrived and something that people should know how to unravel on their own.